side. They come over here to the Volano Fishing Pier. Try our luck. See if there's any fish here. Go ahead and grab one of these guys. There we go. That's a nice one. It's a nice sheep's head. So we're after right there, you guys. Awesome. All right, you guys, nice 17 inch sheep's head. Just wanna show you what I caught them on. That was 25 pound fluorocarbon made by Seaworks right here in Jacksonville, Florida. And then today I'm also using their 2O Live bait straight eye hooks. These things seem really strong in the pack. So I picked a pack up and they're getting the job done, you guys. Today I'm using a Carolina rig. I'm also using only 10 inches of leader going to that Seaworks 2 bait hook. I'm using two live fiddler crabs right now and it's getting the job done. As always, I'm using my 511 sheep's head rod made by Toadfish. All right, you guys, so we're back home. We got our sheep's head. Toadfish sent me this new cool stowaway cutting board. It actually collapses. It's got magnets underneath it. Just folds right up, unfold it. We're also gonna be using our new toadfish fillet knife for the first time. Close it up, flip it open, it locks, locks open. It's got a nice firm ergonomical grip like the rods do. Really like it, forms right to your thumb no matter how you're gonna use it. This cutting board actually also has a knife sharpener on it right here of coarse sharpener and a fine sharpener it's pretty cool all right so when i clean my sheep's head i usually start underneath the actual fin come up the head like so and then i'm actually going to follow the top down like so just to get a started cut going I'm not going to cut all the way through it yet and then I'll come back up to the top and work my way across those ribs you can do this multiple ways this is the way I do it now once you get to here these guys have a large rib cage which really covers most of this area so when I get to this portion I actually cut right here I actually leave the ribs in the fish and fillet it it's nice it's nice and sharp just the first time I've ever used it that's a nice fillet right there and once you get that you can See how it does on these. So far, so good. We got one fillet. Let's flip this bad boy over. 
Same thing. Let's start the top. through like so and again you can do this by taking it out with the ribs I leave the ribs in it like that and then skin it right there you can see how that shows ribs like she's got some row in there it's a female get all that row Boom. All right. Nice. That's how you fillet. All right, and we'll just take this. Same thing here. Cut that right off right there. And we got our second fillet. All right, we can go inside and rinse these off. Get a plate here. Two nice boneless fillets. Wash them off. That's it, you guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.